Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give a brief overview of the difference between a soft reboot, hard reboot, restart, as well as reset. So we're going to go over just a few of the basics here. So the first option would be a reboot. So a reboot is a combination of two separate processes. The first shuts down the computer and then starts it up again. So a hard reboot is if you push in the power button on your computer or laptop, tablet, whatnot, and you push it and hold it for a few seconds. And this will be considered a hard to shut down the computer. And then once the screen is turned off, then you would just press the power button again to turn it on. So that would be considered a hard reboot. A soft reboot is just a normal rebooting of your computer. So if you were to right click on your start button and then where it says shut down or sign out and then you select restart, it'll just ask you want to close out of any open programs and applications. It'll sign you out of your system. It'll shut down and then turn back on. So you, if you also held down the control alt delete keys on your keyboard and you select the power button down the bottom right, you can see you have the restart option down here as well. And if you hover over it, it does say closes all apps turns off the PC and then turns it on again. And then finally, there is a reset option. A reset will require Windows to go through the reinstallation process. So if you were to open up the start menu and type in reset, there would be an option that says reset this PC. So if you open it up, this can even be subdivided into smaller categories as well. So resetting your PC, you can reset it back to a clean state. So basically without any programs or files on there, you can also do a less detailed reset. So we just click on the get started button. You can have two options. You can either keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. So stuff in your documents, pictures, folder, whatnot. And then you have an option to just remove everything, which will be a clean install of the Windows operating system. So pretty straightforward. I do notice that some people do get confused a lot about reset versus reboot. I know it sounds fairly obvious, but it appears that there is some degree of confusion on the internet, believe it or not, between the two categories and their related categories and dependencies as well, like I mentioned. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help clarify that for you guys a little bit, the ones who maybe would benefit from a tutorial like this. So uh, again, do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.